Hey everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as a customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today we're going to be working on a 2021 Honda Accord. We're going to be taking a look at, and I'll be showing you how to install, the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver. This is what our trailer hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, the cross tube is completely visible, but I don't think it takes away from the look. We still have that nice sporty appearance from our Accord. Adding a hitch to the back of your Accord is going to be a huge upgrade. This is going to allow us to get our bikes off of our roof or out of our trunk and back here on a bike rack where you're going to be able to tow a small trailer. Maybe you want to take your jet ski to the lake for the weekend. You're going to be able to do that with this hitch. And you can grab a cargo carrier so you can get all that extra cargo outside of your vehicle and out on the back, making more room for you and your passengers. Our hitch is going to be a steel construction, so it's going to be nice and strong for a long time and we're not going to have to worry about it on the back of our Accord. We're also going to have this nice high gloss black powder coat finish. This is going to help protect our hitch from rust and corrosion. We're also going to have this reinforced steel collar here on the end. This is going to give it a nice finished look while also adding some stability. With this being a class one, we are going to have an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. And we do have a lot of hitch mounted accessories, but you are going to be kind of limited due to the size. And on the side of our hitch, we are going to have a half inch pinhole opening. As you can see, our pin fits through there nicely. You do want to keep in mind, a pin and clip are not included with this kit, but you can find them here at eTrailer. We are going to have a nice plate style safety chain loop, which is going to be nice because it's going to play well with a lot of different safety chains, so you're not going to have to worry about changing out those chains on your trailer. As far as our weight capacities are concerned, we are going to have a 2,000 pound towing capacity. You want to keep in mind, that's the weight of the trailer and the load included. We are going to have a 200 pound tongue weight rating, which is going to be 200 pounds pushing straight down on our receiver tube opening. Now you do want to make sure with your owner's manual that your vehicle is capable of towing at those capacities. And if it's not, always go with the lowest number between the two. Now we can get you some measurements to help you understand where this hitch is going to sit on the back of your Accord. From the ground to the topmost part of our receiver tube opening is going to be about 12 inches. This number is very important for ground clearance and to know if your ball mount needs to be in the rised or lowered position. From the center of our pinhole opening to the outermost part of our fascia, is going to be about four inches and this number is going to be really important for any folding accessories let's say a bike rack or a cargo carrier we want to make sure that that's not going to make contact with our rear fascia all in all adding a hitch to the back of your accord is going to be an awesome upgrade this is going to allow us to take all of our toys with us wherever we're going you do want to keep in mind though since it is a class one we are going to be a little limited now in terms of installation getting our hitch installed isn't too bad at all we just did some minor trimming on the heat shield and only had to drill two holes. There's no welding or anything like that. It's most definitely something that you guys can do at home. With that being said, let's take a look at the installation together now. To begin our installation, we're going to be lowering down our exhaust. But before we do that, we need to support it. We're going to do that using a cam buckle strap. You can find them here at eTrailer.com if you don't have one. We're going to take one hook, run it through our subframe right here, then bring it over to the other side and line it up in the same spot. And we just want to cinch that down nice and tight. We now need to remove our rubber isolators. We're going to have one here on the front and one on the side. On each side, we're going to have one more in the middle. We're going to tape our pry bar, kind of pry like that against our muffler. That'll get both of those isolators off. So I got this one off already. We'll repeat that same process for our remaining hangers. We now need to remove our driver's side muffler our instructions are going to say passenger side, but the passenger side is welded. So it's going to help to have an extra set of hands to hold this muffler. We're going to loosen up two bolts. We're going to be, we're going to be using a 14 millimeter socket. We then want to loosen up our cam buckle strap just a little bit. Then we can pull down on our muffler, then pull those two bolts out towards the outside then our muffler should come off, just like so. Our instructions are going to tell us to keep our heat shield in place, but it's going to be a lot easier to work with if we remove it. We're going to have four 10 millimeter screws that we're going to be removing. You want to make sure to hold one side whenever you get these bottom bolts out. We can take that down and lower it out of the foot, out of the way. We'll do the same thing on the passenger side. On our heat shield, we're going to measure from the end here five inches out. Then we're just going to cut this center section out and kind of bring it together right here. The reason we're going to do it a little bit different than the instructions is because we want that whole frame rail open to get a good mating surface. I did the driver's side already, so we'll show you how it turns out. 
So on the driver's side, you can see our entire frame rail, which is gonna give us that good mating surface, and both holes for our hardware. Now I wanna grab an extra set of hands to help us lift our hitch up on the frame rail. So we wanna raise our hitch up into position. Then we can grab our paint marker, get that hole lined up, and then mark our spot. We'll do this on both sides. Now I wanna come back and open up our hole. I went ahead and already started doing it with a cutoff wheel on a Dremel tool. You can do this either with that Dremel tool or a step bit, whatever you have handy. We just want to open this up to where our spacer block and carriage bolt will fit through. With our hole cut out, we can then check our spacer block and our carriage bolt. And since those both fit through there, we just want to hit this with some clear coat to help protect it. Now we'll repeat that exact same process over on the other side. We're going to be using the reverse fish wire technique. So we're going to put our spacer block over our pull wire and then thread on our carriage bolt. We're then going to take that carriage bolt, push it up into that opening, followed by our spacer block, and then pull that down. For our front hole, we're going to be using our shorter carriage bolt. So again, we're going to do that same reverse fish wire technique. And we'll pull that down flat. Again, we'll repeat that on the other side. Now with an extra set of hands, we can lift our hitch into position. We want to take our fish wires and feed those through the according holes in our hitch. And we're going to lift that up. With that in position. We want to grab our pull wire off of there and then carefully start one of our provided flange nuts. And with one started on each side, the hitch can support itself. Now we'll come back with an 18 millimeter socket and just get our hardware snug down. We can now come back and torque everything down to the amount specified in our instructions. With our hardware torqued down, we're now ready to reinstall everything in the reverse order we took it apart. With our exhaust reinstalled, you want to make sure to take down the cam buckle strap. And with everything off there, torqued down and ready to go, that's going to do it for our look at and our installation of Kurt's Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2021 Honda Accord.